So this is how oily my skin was and I have not even started the video. I was just taking another video creating this eye look and in the meantime my skin got super oily. So yeah. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and a wear test of the newly launched NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. Now, I have been meaning to try this foundation out for the last one year since it was initially launched in US and finally it is available in India and I picked mine out from Nykaa. Now, the shade I got for myself is number 11 beige and for foundation shade reference, I am NC40 in MAC. For other foundation shades, I will mention it on the description box below, so do check it out if you are interested. Now, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, and I have an extremely oily, greasy skin. I have a lot of pores, bumps, pits, blemishes, name it, my skin is problematic. So as always, with any of my foundation reviews, I am not going to be using any primer or any setting spray just to see how the foundation works on its own as well as i'm not going to use any highlighters because my oily skin is going to get shiny throughout the day so i just want to see how shiny it gets now if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to so the notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right into the video now for the description of the product it says that it's a 24 hours waterproof formula Full coverage, matte finish, controls shine and it is suitable for sensitive skin which sounds perfect for my skin type. Now coming to the shade range, it is a little bit disappointing because they do offer about 45 shades in US. However, in India, they have come out with only 14 shades. So it's not that bad, but just that when you compare to 45, 14 sounds very less. And these are priced at 1300 rupees for 30 ml of product. And this is how the packaging looks like, which comes in a nice transparent glass bottle and it comes with a pump. And now let's finally move on to the application of the foundation. So I have zoomed you guys in on, on my right side, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and on my left side, I'm going to be using a foundation brush. So first I'm going to use one pump of the foundation. So it's a pretty kind of a thick formula. This is quite yellow. I can still actually see like my mole over here. So I'm just gonna go over certain places where I feel is a little bit less. So I'm gonna go like for half a pump. Like that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna stop right here right now because I still have a little bit of product but it seems to have evened out my skin. So yeah, this is without foundation and this is with foundation. So for this set, I'm gonna go again with one pump for the foundation brush. So this is how the foundation is looking like on its own. I've not added any other product. The huge concern for me is how yellow this looks. Like in general itself, my neck is a different color than my face, but then this has just emphasized it a lot more. So I don't know, I feel it looks pretty banana-ish. Um, I'm just hoping that with the rest of the product it will kind of come through or come together I'm hoping that but apart from that I feel that the brush worked better than the sponge it gave a better coverage and it was much more quicker because this is a fast drying kind of a foundation so the brush works the best compared to the sponge okay so my full face of makeup is done and this is how everything is looking like let me zoom you guys in so I will list all the products that I had used in the description box below, which is like my usual, usual products that I always go for. So yeah, this is how everything is looking like right now. And the time is exactly 3.45 p.m. And let me quickly show you guys in some natural lighting how this foundation is looking like.
time right now is 9.05 p.m. and it has been a little over 5 hours and this is how my skin is looking like right now which I am so freaking impressed like my skin is dewy right now it's not oily it's not greasy it is shiny glowy dewy so I am really liking this foundation a lot so far okay so this do not mind I am really tired my eyes are kind of getting reddish but yeah this is how the foundation is looking like i feel a little bit more of the foundation has rubbed off from this blemish and uh, apart from that everything else looks pretty shiny especially my t-zone area and my cheeks are pretty shiny which is like usual but it's not the oily greasy the only area of concern that i have is the corners of my nose i don't know if you guys can see it but a little bit of the product has got accumulated in the corners so i'm kind of worried that after some more time there will be more product stuck there so i don't know let's see how it goes but Apart from that, it looks completely fine and also, I did not sit under the AC all this time. I was just sitting and transferring videos and editing and everything because the climate right now in Chennai is pretty decent so I did not have to switch on the AC and as always, it is humid over here even though the climate is good. It is always humid over here so this is good. Okay, so I will see you guys for the last and final check-in in a few hours or a few seconds for you guys. So the time right now is 12.54 a.m. and it has been over 9 hours since I applied the foundation and this is how the foundation is looking like right now. Please do not mind my low energy, it has been a long day, my eyes are a bit blurry. So about 7 hours mark is when my skin started getting a bit oily and I could feel that heaviness. So the product has kicked up a bit, it has emphasized. I will quickly zoom you guys in and show you what I'm talking about. So my nose is super oily and so is my cheeks and forehead. That's like the usual region where it gets oily. Now if you guys can see over here there is a mark, I'm not so sure if it's reflecting or not so the product kind of moved a bit and as I had suspected around the corners over here the product has accumulated and it's kind of broken down so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly blot my face and see if this is savable or not so I'm taking this clean blotting sheet and So one full blotting sheet. I can just let this stick here. So two whole blotting sheets have been used to remove the excess oil. Everything looks fresh, however, around my nose region, it is still kind of like caking up. The foundation is still there even after I had blotted and a lot of the foundation has moved away from my nose, which was the most oiliest, the tip of my nose especially. And even on this side of the nose, it has kind of accumulated the product so let's quickly go over with the pros and the cons of this foundation now i have made a note of it because i am so freaking tired right now so i already made the points so for the first pro is that it gives a lovely matte finish which i personally prefer and love because i have an extremely oily skin the second pro is that it evened out my skin tone like right after applying the foundation it gave this nice blank canvas kind of a look which i really liked the third pro is that it gave a lovely finish once i completed my full phase of makeup like with everything in all blended everything looked so pretty so i love that finish and it is extremely long lasting as well so seven hours mark without any primer or setting spray that is a good kind of a foundation especially for my oily greasy ass skin and the last pro is that after blotting, my face still looks fresh right now. I can literally see my blush and everything else, my contour in my nose and everything. So even if I have to step out right now, which I never will, so even if I had to do that, it still looks good and fresh. These were the pros. Now coming to the cons. The first con is the yellowness of this specific shade. I honestly do not like it like for example if I had to go out like literally step out right after applying the foundation 
it will look so odd on me it will look like a freaking mask so i had to wait until it oxidized so that was the first con for me but then if you are around my skin tone maybe go to the next shade which i think is classic tan i'm not so sure so maybe go for that but again i cannot suggest that because i do not have that shade probably check out more youtube videos if you're around my shade just to see if the shade classic tan kind of would suit or not or will it be dark so the second con for me is the caking on the sides of my nose now in general if this had to happen when i'm not taking a video then if i'm doing a touch up or anything i would touch up especially around six to seven hours of mark on the sides of my nose because of the oiliness it kind of accumulated the foundation at the sides so yeah that is like the second con for me is the caking on the sides of my nose and last but not the least i feel that some of the product did disappear or it kind of got transferred because of how oily my skin got especially on the tip of my nose I could see a very harsh line over there because I think my hair or something or I was like rubbing my nose and I think the product kind of came off so basically the foundation mixed along with the oils of my skin which I know sounds gross it kind of started transferring and rubbing off whenever I had to touch it so that is the last con so overall, I would be recommending the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation if you have oily or super oily skin. But make sure that you do use a good primer and a long lasting kind of a setting spray. And also make sure that you do a touch up either at 6 or 7 hours mark and this foundation will last throughout the day or shift or anything for you. For those who have dry skin or normal skin type, I would highly suggest using a very good moisturizer beforehand or a good moisturizer primer and for super dry skin I don't know if this will work for you I'm not the right person to suggest that but yeah so these were my thoughts about the next can't stop won't stop foundation and this wraps up today's video it is way past 1 30 a.m and I'm so freaking tired right now it was a long day and it is going to be a long day tomorrow so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to be notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests I will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me in my socials which is it's Shania on Instagram and it's a on Twitter as well so until the next time take care bye